So this is an exclusive, guys. This is exciting. Inside this package right here is the OnePlus folding phone. This is an incredibly early copy of the device, but it's getting close to finished. And here on this channel, we're gonna get our closest look yet at OnePlus's first folding phone, and then we're actually gonna hear the inspiration behind it. Pete, it's, uh, it's great to see you again. I uh, understand that you've now taken on a new role or sort of a combination of roles. You've transitioned into overseeing product for both Oppo and OnePlus now. H how has that been for you? And uh, what are the challenges of overseeing both brands? So, yeah, Lou, now I'm overseeing both the product from Oppo and OnePlus and the business is getting more complicated. But however the business will evolve, we always focus on creating great products. And I'm the top product manager in the company. So we always start from the user needs and we want to create a burdenless design and create a fast and smooth experience that is intuitive. Now after the merging, the R&D capability of the company is getting stronger. We have launched many industry-leading technologies and we are bringing products that have created good reputation among the consumers. For example, we have launched two generations of Foldable under the Oppo brand and we have also launched OnePlus 11, which has also received wide acclaims. So I've been a user of Foldables for a while now. I'm noticing now that you're seeing more refinement as far as the sort of mechanical components of these foldable devices. Now in front of me, obviously, I've got an early look at the new OnePlus foldable. And I'm curious about what's different about this particular hinge design. Lou, actually you mentioned one key thing. Compared to the traditional slab style form factor, foldables is changing in terms of the form factor. And the key thing behind this form factor is the hinge. Now, we hold over 600 patents related to the hinge design of the foldable. And if you've tried the um, first generation wide end foldable two years ago, you might recall that when you close the phone, there is no gap in between. It is a gapless state. And behind that is the hinge. And actually, when you close the phone, it's not only just gapless, you can even put a piece of paper in between and still hold the phone. The phone won't drop. The hinge is a key component behind the experience of the foldable phone because not only does the hinge occupy a lot of room in terms of the components stacking, it will also affect the health or the life cycle of the phone. Now, on the hinge that we use for the OnePlus foldable, we hold 35 patterns related to the hinge. We have improved the materials and tried to reduce the, the size and the weight and increase the strength of the hinge. Now, compared to the hinge that we use on the Oppo Find N2, the hinge on the OnePlus foldable has 31 components fewer in the hinge. This helps with the reduction of the weight we have also improved the material design so that the strength is better, but we still manage to reduce the size of the hinge. Actually, this hinge is 37% smaller compared to the hinge of the Find N2. Yeah, I'm, this is my first time actually inspecting the device. This is an early sample that I'm looking at here, so we can't show you absolutely everything. You can see there's some elements that are covered but this has to be the tightest hinge that I've looked at as far as the gap or lack of a gap and it creates something that's quite slim when it's in its closed position here. So Pete, how do you think that this product is going to compete against other flagship devices in the market? How do you think that this new OnePlus folding device will stack up? OnePlus is not the first comer to the race, but once we decided to enter this race, we must be bringing the best phone to this race. And I would say that the OnePlus foldable phone is the best folding phone you can get right now. It's your dream phone. Wow. Now, Lou, if you think of the user need for a foldable, they want a display that's as big as possible. 
but when they hold the phone in your hand, they hope that it's as small and convenient as possible. That is the user need. A foldable phone should not just offer a large screen experience, it should also have a light and slim design, it should have a powerful camera, and it should deliver a fast and smooth experience. It is only when we achieve a right balance in all these areas can we call it a flagship foldable phone. OnePlus has gained strong reputation in the fast and smooth experience, so rest assured that this experience will also be replicated to our folding phone. In order to deliver a better large screen experience for the users, we are also working closely with Google to improve the app adaptation so that users can really feel that the app experience is different on a large screen. One more thing, the alert slider, which has gained um, good reputation among the OnePlus users, is also available on this folding phone. Yeah, I noticed that actually. It's got that nice textured feel to it, so you don't even have to look at the device to recognize, and it's in a nice location here, easily reachable. The question that people are gonna have is, is this product gonna be identical to an Oppo folding device? How do you see the difference between those two brands? And how unique will this OnePlus folding phone be compared to products offered under the Oppo brand name? This folding phone is jointly developed by the Oppo team and the OnePlus team because we want to create a synergy and bring the best of the two teams together because both teams have accumulated strong experience. This folding phone will have a different go-to-market strategy in different regions because there is only one the best folding phone now. And Oppo team has accumulated strong experience in the foldable design and in the camera technologies. While OnePlus is famous for the fast and smooth experience, the burdenless design and the peak performance of the hardware, so we decided to bring the best of these two teams together and create this folding phone. And we will use a different go-to-market strategy in different regions so that more users will be able to have their hands on, on this device. All right, now, the, the last thing I'm wondering, there is a customer who's also interested in a flip-style device, in a clamshell that's going to actually unfold the other way and create an even more portable folding device. So does OnePlus have any plans to add a device like that? Target users of the first generation folding phone of OnePlus are more like the business elites and technology elites. They are people who work in finance, they are engineers, doctors, etc. They are more or less the users of the OnePlus slab style flagships. But the target users of the flip phones, they are not quite matched. So that is why at this stage, we don't have the plan to launch a flip phone. Listen, Pete, it's been great to have access to this conversation to get a little bit more insight into the development process and also to sort of get a, a slightly better idea of how this strategy is working. There's some serious engineering that's that's gone into this and you have like the tightest seal that I've seen. Yeah, because what we're after is actually delivering the best foldable phone for the users. It should not be something that settles. I mean, obviously we have the recent launch, Samsung Z Fold 5, and I mean, I think to the average person, they're going to see some similarities here. Uh, where do you see the difference here? And what do you think the advantages are for the OnePlus folding phone? Future is open. <laughs> so there you have it. That is our best look yet at the OnePlus folding phone. Another option in the folding phone space and a slightly different take. I'm very excited to see the retail version of this, the final version of this. And of course, I'll be showing it to you here on the channel very soon.